Joe and Tim disagree on whether Elon Musk likes getting online attention. Oh my God, dude. Of course, of course he does. How are you going to fucking say he doesn't? I'm shame Elon for living in a nice house that's not even his. Have you seen this article? Yeah, I mean, it's silly, but Have I think seen Elon liked... Doesn't he like this? No, he doesn't. I, he doesn't I, like this? I was this. texting with him about this. Doesn't he, he go on Twitter all the time for this reason? Well, he, he likes to fuck with people. I think he likes this. In that way, but he... Um, and the house is not that nice, by the way. With all due respect, it's fine. It's fine. Well, it's... Here's the thing. He could buy 150 of those. Elon Perhaps. Musk says he lives in a $50,000 tiny house. Is he actually living at his friend's Austin man? Bro, who cares what kind of fucking house he lives in? Only idiots literally look to the fucking size of your house to be like, you're a bad person or you're a good fucking person. That's idiotic, okay? He's still the world's wealthiest person. He's a fucking billionaire as a consequence of straight up exploiting his fucking workforce. Oh my lord, he's literally an anti-unionization dickhead. It makes me so fucking angry that people are still like, oh, he lives in a $50,000 per dollar house. And by the way, for the record, House Andes do believe this. They literally, the people who are like, you live in a fucking nice house, you're a hypocrite. They actually turn around and go, Elon Musk is actually not exploitative because he lives in a tiny house, a fucking $50,000 house. It's so stupid, dude. You're a fucking idiot. You are literally a fucking idiot who's caught up in the PR. Personally, boot-licking fucking billionaires, dude. Shut the fuck up. God damn, dude. You lost saving the world with his tech, though? Yeah, okay, great. He certainly... Tim confronted about Joe that reminds Joe that everyone Joe means is nice to him. Yeah. It's so fucking stupid, dude. You do kind of make electric cars popular. The only thing you can attribute to Elon Musk to some degree is yes. Turning electric cars into a more popular, more mainstream concept. Okay. To a certain degree, even that is not on his shoulders alone. That's it. That's literally it. And that's marketing. It's not just Elon Musk either. And ultimately, electric cars were obviously the future and still would have absolutely become popular regardless of whether Elon Musk was uh, pumping them or not. Okay? This idea that like electric cars wouldn't be popular without Elon Musk is almost as idiotic as thinking you're not going to see an ad at the top of the hour. You're going to see an ad at the top of the hour every hour. There's a 60 second ad break. And if you no longer want to see those ads at the top of the hour, then all you need to do is put your hands together and fucking pray that someone gifts you a sub. Or if you don't get gifted, because it's not a fucking guarantee, then, you know, make your own luck by subscribing for $5 or subscribing for free with a Twitch Prime. If you don't have $5, then, you know, use a fucking Twitch Prime. Utilize that shit, baby. Uh oh. Fuck! That is so fucking annoying. And I don't think that, I don't know if it's like literally because of, I don't know if it's because it's saved. We're fine. We're fine. Ben Fish, thank you for the five gifted subs. Greek God X. Thank you for the 10 gifted subs, Greek, for trolling. Uh, um, here's the one minute ad break now. Elon also had his comp on the brink of bankruptcy without subsidies, and now he's against them all. I get the rest. The rest gets shit. Yeah, I know. It's LA servers. They've been terrible. Wait, really? It's the LA servers that are fucking up every time? Is that why I'm seeing drop frames? Annoying.
You got a 10 second ad? Good. Good. Stop complaining about it. All right, let's watch the rest of Attention. this. Listen, I know for a fact he doesn't live there. He he stayed there for a while when he first came to Austin. Right. He does not live there. That's right. just, And not only that, even if he did, yeah. it's not even his house. Right. So you're giving the richest guy on planet Earth a hard time. Right. Because he might have stayed in a nice house that wasn't stupid. his. It's stupid. But it's so crazy. Like, it's what silly. do you want him to do with that money? Um, He's literally the richest guy in the world. Yeah. So yeah. I mean, he is doing that same thing where he's literally fucking. He's right. He's right. Him living in a $50,000 house does not change the fact that he is literally the wealthiest person on the fucking planet. Okay. How he accumulated that wealth is what matters. And also, more importantly than that, like. Like him living in a $50,000 house doesn't change that fucking reality. That shit is for the birds. So what is Joe Rogan doing? He's saying that shit's for the birds and everyone's a bird. That's what he's saying. Why is this Joe's take and not who the fuck cares what he lives in take? I don't, I don't understand why he's like simultaneously being like, who cares? He's the richest guy in the world. Like, it's so stupid that people are criticizing him for living there. It's like, yeah, except, you know, it is stupid for people being like one way or the other uh, being bent over. If anything, you should be more fucking annoyed. You driving a 2010 Toyota Camry, poor LARPing, Elon in a small house equals what? No, Elon Musk is a humble guy who doesn't care about all the wealth that he has. That's why he lives in a $50,000 house. That's why, uh, you know, when I drive my Toyota Camry, it's not because I'm fucking, uh, you know, lazy as shit to go get a new car and don't really use it that much, but it's because I'm LARPing as a poor, okay? Like what? You're going to fucking all of a sudden magically forget how much money I made? In, from the Twitch leaks because I have a fucking Toyota Camry? No, dumbass. Ultimately, how you make your money is what matters more than anything else. It wasn't stupid. His. It's stupid. But it's so crazy. Like, it's what silly. do you want him to do with that money? Um, He's literally the richest guy in the world. Yeah. So what do you want him to do? Do you think he shouldn't live in a nice house on Austin? On Lake I Austin? I don't think that, but I think, I think people, we're, we're at a point now where... There's such a vast chasm between people that have a lot of money and the people of nothing, right? Right. And he's become kind of a symbol of that. So is Bezos, because they're literally now flying rockets into space. Yeah. So why is Tim Dillon making such great fucking takes, by the way? I'm actually surprised. He he's literally like this is a remarkable change of pace for Tim Dillon. I know he's always like, he used to be like center. Uh, he used to be a centrist comedian and he has some really funny fucking outtakes about, uh, you know, Megan McCain and stuff like that. But it is surprising because after the Alex Jones shit, I was just like, oh God, that was so nasty to watch. So while all the while you have all of these other problems and all of these other issues. So, you know, obviously people are going to and i think he likes the attention this is not a guy that doesn't want to be famous he loves fame a hundred percent you don't agree i don't know if he loves it i think oh, he, he comes uh, with the job and i don't think he oh get the fuck out of here of course he loves it. he's a fucking billionaire he doesn't have to post nine gag memes on twitter he could literally go live on an island okay he could literally fucking go live on a fuck island for the rest of his life and, and stay out of the public scrutiny. When you're a billionaire, the only reason why you're in the public eye is because you personally want to. How many billionaires do we never think about? How many billionaires are out there that we never even fucking talk about? The only reason why we talk about billionaires is when they want us to talk about them. That's it. So this notion that Elon Musk is like, uh, uh, you know, uh, a, a victim to the media constantly fucking paying attention to him is psychotic when his... His, his net worth, his valuation is closely tied to the psychotic fan base that he's been able to tag along. That it also has a financial vested interest in the Tesla stock performing well. Okay? It's a double whammy. He's making these motherfuckers make money. He's making money for these motherfuckers that like are psychotically and obsessively following him because they're, they are, are invested into this overinflated, overvalued stock. Okay? And also, simultaneously, the reason why they get invested into the Elon, Elon Musk brand or Tesla in general is because 
they they love that shit. They like they have a parasocial relationship with Elon Musk that's only reinforced through the financial interests that they have. He minds it. Oh, I think he quite enjoys it. I mean, he seems to have he fun. pursues it? He definitely has I fun, think he but he has it. fun with a lot of things. Is Warren Buffett tweeting every day like this? No, but Warren Buffett is not also inventing. Oh my God, Tim Dillon, what the fuck? Absolutely correct take. Doing 50 different things at the same time. He's, he's a multi-billionaire. I mean, he is, but he's yeah. an investor. Sure. Elon but... Musk is digging tunnels under cities and shooting rockets into where space and revolutionizing yeah, electric but where, cars. Where are the tunnels? Well, there's one. Oh my God, he is so right. What the fuck? Fuck, dude. What the fuck? Where are the tunnels, dude? Also, it's a tunnel. Revolutionizing tunnels? You fucking baboon. What do you mean, revolutionizing tunnels? What kind of fucking ape brain take is that, Joe? Holy shit, dude. Uh, uh, Elon Musk, revolutionizing tunnel. Ooh, 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 ooh. My man said Elon Musk revolutionized tunnels, dude. Joe Rogan, for a guy who fucking constantly shits on like social media and Silicon Valley liberals, is literally the same ape-brained idiot that is the the VC pipeline Silicon Valley moron, okay? Silicon Valley investors absolutely fucking love when someone says, I am doing disruption, okay? I'm doing a disruptive technology. And then they turn around and they're like, we're disrupting the bodegas, the corner market. With what? A fucking vending machine, okay? But then they're like, woo, you said it's disruptive new tech. It's a vending machine, but all of a sudden... You called it disruptive and new, so I'm going to fucking give you a million dollars. That is precisely what Joe Rogan is doing with Elon Musk right now. He's revolutionizing digging a hole in the ground, dude. Wow. That's crazy. Disruptive, dude. That's great. One from Vegas to LA. Have you seen it? I've not seen it, and we don't need one. That tunnel should collapse with everyone <laughs> going from Vegas to fucking LA. That tunnel should collapse. Um... <sighs> I think he likes it. I think he likes being kind of the, you know, the Did bad boy you? Jets, Jetsons. He's like a Jetsons Did character. Did I tell you about when I went to uh, Vegas with Whitney?